Hey guys, it's Jimblade 304 here, and as I'm sure some of you know, this is a box of LEGO Movie 2 Collectible Minifigs, so I'm sure all of you guys know that. But, anyway, I bought this box on eBay for $220. Um, it was a thing that bricked a lot, and I did. You guys know bricked a lot. Everybody go subscribe to bricked a lot. He's amazing. But, anyway, bricked a lot and I bought a box of these, and, uh, we split it. We split it three ways, but there's only two people. We sent the other series to Greg, which you'll have just seen, because this video is going up right after he posts the video of the package, which I have right here. And it has all 20 collectible minifigs inside of it. So, Greg, that's what the surprise was, but you won't know that until after uh, after you post your video. So, I figured I'm going to open these uh, minifigs up. I have all 20, and Bricked a Lot has a set of all 20 that's going out to him as well. I can't show you that box because that has his actual address on it. But, anyway, we're going to open these up here one by one, and I'm going to uh, build them up for you guys. So, let's get started. And I do know there is guarantee a guaranteed full set of 20 there because I felt them all. I felt each... All right, so basically if you guys see a box of these and you want a full set, grab just run w w one full row of 20 because you should be good. You might want to feel them a little bit to make sure like I did, but you should be okay if you grab one full row. Anyway, let's get on to the building of the... or opening of the first pack. Alright, our first pack here that we have, I think, is President Business. And let's open it up and find out if I'm right. Yeah, President go Gun Golfing President Business. Alright, here's Gun Golfing President Business. I really do like this figure. This might be one of my favorite in the series. I love this new golf club mode, and I hope they make a Lego golf set because it'd be great just to get a bunch of different types of clubs to use. No, I don't really play golf that often, and I'm not very good at it, but I I just, I feel like they could do that now that they've made this piece, and uh, this uh, this figure looks really nice as well, but let's move on to our next pack. Alright, our next figure is the Cowardly Lion. Awesome. Alright, here's the Cowardly Lion. You see he has that awesome uh, medal of bravery, and he has a tail back here. He does have a double-sided face, which President Business does as well, and I'll show you that here. And I'll show you that guy right now. I forgot to show you that earlier, but it's a pretty cool alternate face. I like this figure. This is, like, I think, I don't know. This is probably, it's probably the weakest of the Wizard of Oz 4, but I think it's a really good figure nonetheless. Let's move on to our next pack. Giraffe guy, that's awesome. Uh, and there's another little piece in there. Here is Giraffe guy. He looks really cool. I like I like this this figure. That's probably top five in the series. And he has an alternate face there, dual motor legs, and he does come with two of these. I know one of these is supposed to be an extra, but I gave him both the hold just because it seemed easier. Let's move on to our next pack. The Tin Man. Alright, so here we have the Tin Man. Uh, also a really good figure in the series. No alternate face on this one, unfortunately, because his head's exposed in the back. He has some side leg printing, and he's in all silver, which is amazing. This head kind of reminds me of something they'd use for for uh, Zane from Ninjago. Anybody else think that? Let me know. I might pop a poll up above so you guys can answer that. And, uh... There's something weird here. Uh, I know this was supposed to be an extra, but I don't think we were supposed to get two extra of these. But, yeah, that's interesting. Let me know if you guys also got two extra. Let's move on to our next pack. Okay. It's Crayon Girl. Alright, here is Crayon Girl. And she does have an alternate face. I really like this piece. Um... Her alternate face is pretty funny. Is that really that bad? Badly aligned. Let me just fix that here. Yeah, that's pretty. That's a little, that's a little off, but nice figure overall. I like the colors, and I just I have a second one of these figures because I bought a two, couple packs um earlier this month, which you'll see in my haul recap. But I do have a duplicate of this figure and the watermelon guy, which you'll see later on in this video. Let's move on to our next pack. All right, this pack was the swamp creature here. So let's open him up. 
he did come in a second bag for some reason. I don't. Some of these figures do, some don't. I don't understand why. Here is the swamp creature, and he does have a little bit of back facial printing right there, or back of the head printing. Um, that's nice just to show a little bit of skill detail. I love this green color that they use. I think it's like green apple or something like that. It, it just reminds me of a green apple, but I really like that color, and I hope they use more of it soon. So that's our I think one, two, three, four, five, sixth figure in the series. Let's move on to the next pack. Let's open this pack up. This is, I think, probably one of my least favorite figures in the series, to be honest. It's the, uh, the Apocalypse Berg Lucy, or whatever it's called. I just, I don't really, I don't really like this figure. Alright, here's Apocalypse Berg Lucy. She does have, uh, this nice piece, which I think is, it's, this is a great part. I really like this. And she has the, um, her, an alternate face, which is more happier, and this one's more serious. She does come with binoculars, pretty weak accessory. Just come with. I wish she would have came with a bow for her arrows in the back, but I don't think she comes with a bow in any set. If she does, I might be. I might be wrong, but let me know. Uh, so overall, I think this figure looks pretty nice. Um, I just don't really care for it because she comes in like so many sets regularly. But next pack. So let's cut this pack open here. Hopefully, I don't cut through any felt or fabric. And I was right, I think that, I said I, before I started recording, I said I think this one's Dorothy, and I was, I was right. Make sure nothing else is inside here. Let's get that right there. And we'll build this figure up. Alright, here is Dorothy. She looks nice. I really like the, uh, the printing that she has on her, her little cloth piece here, which was a little bit of a pain to put on. But, and you also got the dog, um, Toto, I believe his name is, uh, the recolor of the Series 16 dog, um, from the Dog Judge, whatever. Hair piece is rubber. She does have an alternate face on the back right here, which is a much more happier face. And here's what that looks like with the hair piece on. But overall, really good figure. Nice back printing. Uh, I just need the scarecrow, and then I think I'm done with. And then I will be done with the Wizard of Oz collection. Okay, next pack here. This is awesome remix Emmett, I think. Here's Awesome Remix Emmett. I, again, another one of my least favorites in the series, but I do really like that new uh, phone print. That's awesome. It's the Awesome Tween Dream Remix from the LEGO Movie 2. The, it was actually in the movie, and it's on the playlist. And uh, his headphone hair hat combo, I think, is amazing. And the coffee cup, it's nice to get that piece. I really want more of those so I can I can do something with them. I don't know. I just... It's not. That's a nice piece to have a lot of, but I don't have a lot of them. I only have, I think, this one, maybe one other, but I'm not sure. And he does have an alternate face on the back. Just a little less happy, I guess. But I think this face is better than this one, which just seems overly happy. But he could be singing or, or listening to the song, and that's what's making him have that face. I don't know. Next pack. All right, let's open this up here and see what's inside. This is Vest Friend Rex, I think is the actual name of the figure. It's a really nice figure. Here is Vest Friend Rex, which is a really nice figure. His hat has a lot of nice printing, and it's also dual motor with his hair, which is, again, great. I love the blue dinosaur. I want so many of that. Hopefully, they'll release it in, like, a poly bag or something where I can get it easily. Like the Jurassic World one, which I have, like, seven of these poly bags. So, yeah, I need to... I really like this figure, and I want more of this dinosaur. Anyway, let's move on to our next pack. If I'm not mistaken, this one is the Scarecrow. I did peel it up a little bit because I thought it was the Scarecrow. And... Yes, it is. We have a Scarecrow, and the Wizard of Oz collection is complete. Here's the Scarecrow figure. Really nice figure. The printing is flawlessly moved into the legs from the and the hips as well. Really nice. I like his hat. I don't think it's dual-molded, but I could be wrong. It's probably not dual-molded. It's probably just printed... But he has a certificate of achievement to signify his brain. So that's that's nice. Um let's take a look at all four Wizard of Oz figures in the collection here. So I have the full set. It's nice. I think 
I think I like the inclusion of all four of these. Uh, they weren't in the movie very long, but still, it's it's nice to get have all four of them. All right, next pack here is Flashback Lucy. So if you do not want to be spoiled about something in the Lego Movie 2, please skip like 30 seconds ahead. All right, this is your last chance. Three, two, one. Here's everything that the figure comes with, and you can see that she did write "Everything Is Awesome," a great, great song. But and I'm surprised. I'm actually not surprised that she wrote it. Just it just seems like that would happen. And uh, I do realize I forgot to show you Rex's alternate face earlier. So there's that. Just figured I'd show you that really quick. This figure is great. I love her hairpiece. Uh, it's a cheap way to get it. Anyway, as I was saying, this figure is really, really good. And uh, let's move on to our next pack. Let's cut this pack open here. And let's see who's inside. It is the Apocalypse Benny, I think. Here is Apocalypse Berg Benny. He looks really cool. I like this uh, toolbox with the classic space print on it. And he does have an alternate face on the back as well. He's uh, a little angry. So that that's a nice alternate face. But anyway, and I did realize I forgot to show you, I think, I think I forgot to show you her uh, flashback Lucy's other face. But overall, nice figure uh, for Benny. He's uh, he's really cool. I like, and uh, of course, it's scratched up in the cracked helmet. Just seven figures left, and with me opening this, we'll take it down to six. This is Scratching Post. Here is Mrs. Scratching Post. You can see I, lo I love this uh, this cat here with the mohawk. That's great. I'm not exactly sure which cat it is. Um, I forget because it, was, it wasn't really in the movie for that long. But I just, I can't remember it. She has some nice arm printing and side leg printing. That's that's awesome. Awesome to see that on a bunch of these figures in the series. And she has no alternate face, but here's her regular face there. And uh, the rest of the printing around... And then she has a, a lot of detailed printing around back, but that most of that is covered up due to her long gray hair. All right. Six more to go. And this one is... I think Hula Lula... Something like that. That sounds right. Okay. Alright, here is Hula Lula. And you can see she has a nice little record and a printed microphone. There's so many different colors. Green here on the figure. And some printing underneath the um, the cape here, which was not as much of a pain as Dorothy's to put on because it was actually rather simple. And she does have an alternate face on the back, which is, I guess, what how she would be singing. I don't know. We'll just call it that. I do like this lime green lime color for the hair piece, though. That that's really cool. We're nearing the end. We have five more packs, and with this, take it down to four. This is Apocalypse Berg Abe. This is probably one, another one of my favorites of the series. And here is Apocalypse Berg Abe. He is really really cool. I like this. He has a little Lego skull on him, and another one down here. And around the back, he has some nice printing as well. He has a hat and two axes, which they should have just given him that new axe piece that the Tin Man has instead of building this this one that's actually really lame. And he does have an alternate face here. It's really cool. And uh, some, I think this is dual molded as well. Yeah, it is. But really cool and some printing on top of the hat as well. Nice figure overall and probably another top five for me. All right, now I get to open the final four packs. I had to step away for a little bit and take care of a problem with my new phone. But let's open this pack here and see who's inside. And we only have four packs left. <clears throat> so let's open this up. And it is um, Candy Wrapper, I believe, is the name of the, the figure here. Here is Candy Wrapper. She looks really cool. I like the printing on the tutu. Which was also used uh, in the Ninjago movie uh, N Pop or K Pop or I think it was N Pop because the, they had to do like a rip off version of it. She does have an alternate face on the back, and it is nice to get this hairpiece in pink. I don't think we've ever gotten it in that color before. 
and some nice printing all around and dual molded legs which is really cool and this cool uh new cassette tape print let me get you a little focus on that <clears throat> so three more to go i think this one might be unikitty yes it is All right, here is Unikitty, the worst figure in the series. And the thing is, they don't even use the new style that they introduced in the Unikitty CMF series. So it's just the stud, which this isn't very stable. Like, I'm sure you guys have heard, uh, if you watch uh, Justy Good's review of this. But it's just not very stable, and I, I don't like this figure. It was a bad inclusion. They should have done some exclusive version of her. Having Unikitty in the series is not awful, but they should have done something better with her. And you see you get a lot of extra pieces included with her. We have two more to go. Watermelon Guy and the Kitty Pop, I believe. So let's open this up and see who's in so This is Kitty Pop. Okay. I think that's, that's the name of the figure anyway. I'm not entirely sure, but I think that's right. So here is Kitty Pop, and I think this is the new coral color. I'm not entirely sure. But I think I've ta I've heard people talk about it, and they were right. It's just so much brighter in person than it is on the like in any pictures or by video. You, I'm sure you guys can't really see how bright that actually is compared to everything else. I mean, I'm on a white background here, but still, you also get an extra microphone with all four band members, so you get four microphones. So that's pretty cool. And I'm not even gonna bother cutting here. I'm just gonna open our last figure, which. Hopefully is watermelon guy. It should be. Hey, look, it's watermelon guy. Again, another one of my uh, favorites of the series. There's his head, and I'll build him up for you guys. And here is the final figure of the series, watermelon guy. And Kitty Pop has an alternate face. By the way, I forgot to show you that. I'm not very good at doing this, but uh, here's the watermelon guy. He is so cool. I I love this watermelon piece. I think I want to get like either six or eight or however many of these guys and just like put the watermelons around in a full circle and just and like put like a pink head in there or something like that i don't know i just feel like that'd be a really cool idea if anybody's done that let me know but it's this is a great figure again probably top five so and now i have all the figures and let's line them up and show you guys so i did just throw the, all the figures on the stand from er, not on a stand but just lined them all up here no particular order but you can see there's a lot of great figures in this series, and overall, this is a really, really good series. So let me know what you guys think about this series in the comments below, and thank you guys for watching this uh, very long video. I know it was long, um, just because it's these videos are typically long, but thank you guys for watching this video, and uh, I'll see you guys in uh, Ninjago Legacy Comparison coming soon. Bye.